Assalamu alaikum, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh my gosh, the glare on these. Um, so I need glasses to see. And usually I don't wear them because, you know, I just squint all the time and I go like that. <laughs> but um, the, my prescription changed. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys. Uh, but I had a stroke in my late 20s. Let me move this a little bit. I had a stroke in my late 20s and um, it messed with my left side completely, my memory and uh, uh, a lot. I have now a little bit of a learning disability because of it. And on top of that, I'm dyslexic <laughs> that I already <laughs> had. Uh, but, uh, uh, has been good and, you know, I recovered for the most part when I'm under stress, I do, um, slur my words or, uh, am easily forgetful. Uh, it's just, you know, something I have to deal with and that's fine. Uh, but anyways, back to the glasses. <laughs> um, so my left eye, it changed completely and this one changed as well but not as much as the left one so i finally went uh put them in last week and picked them up my husband picked them up for me yesterday and uh i didn't think i was gonna need the anti-glare i'm like anti-glare what, what am i gonna need the anti-glare i wasn't thinking well the ring light's gonna reflect on it <laughs> So right now I have my head kind of down, so I'm not looking straight up and you guys see rings <laughs> in my eyes, but, um, let me, let me take them off. Okay. I guess for when I do this, I won't wear them. I mean, it's not like I'm reading or anything. Um, I just see myself as being blurry. <laughs> Uh, but it, like, if it was bothering me, it was probably bothering you. Um, anyways, but I want to show you what I'm doing today to de-stress. Um, it's been very stressful. I've been, uh, I tried to not watch the news, but it pops up and I just can't say no. And I watch them and <sighs> it's a lot. It's a lot. So anyways, um, to combat that. I am doing what I can uh, monetarily wise and uh, prayer wise and for myself I play the switch I know I've shown it to you guys multiple times but it's very relaxing uh, it, I can immerse myself in it just like uh, yesterday, today's switch day. Yesterday was Quran day. And uh, I was only gonna read 10 pages, but um, I have, if you guys go on YouTube, you can have the Quran uh, read to you on audio, but it's uh, read in Arabic. So I don't understand. I understand some of the words from prayer, but I don't understand most. But so I had it as a background sound while I was reading and I got so immersed into it that I ended up reading like 25 pages. Uh, so <laughs> I'm so glad that helped. If you guys have problems reading yours, maybe it might help having it in the background and just, you know, put your heart into it. Um, also, my son went and got me these Legos. Can you see it without the ring light? There we go. Uh, it's supposed to be like a dry flower arrangement. Oh my gosh, it looks like you can hang it on the wall. That is so neat. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys a little tour of this room, which is my film room, hangout room, timeout room for myself. And uh, I have, I love the botanical Legos. I, I would not spend crazy amounts of money on Legos. That's just too much, you know? And uh, it keeps my mind and hands busy. 
uh, I have so far the orchid and the bird of paradise and I have the little succulent one uh, but that's it and uh, he just got me that so we're gonna do that together um, as a family which is how we did the other ones so it's not just something that I do by myself um, it's something that we do together and uh, I really enjoy that because you know we're talking we're like hey do you have this piece do you, you know it goes over here or oh my gosh no you're doing it wrong it goes over there um sorry i'm just fidgeting uh, i have ooh, a button <laughs> ooh, no thankfully the hijab was right there <laughs> otherwise it would have been like uh oh uh but um yeah so that's kind of what i'm doing today i my husband uh, i think i told you guys he was getting the lantern well he was supposed to have gotten the lantern uh, the day before yesterday it didn't happen because we were going to be picking up a dinner table so we could sit six people um comfortably instead of the one right now we have a small one and it's just for four which would be fine um for just my husband and i but if our children you know come or we have guests it's not ideal so anyways so he didn't go get it then the lady flaked out it was in marketplace so you know uh so he came home he was already late i i felt so bad for him and everything uh luckily i already had dinner ready and um, we ate but yesterday he went and uh, he got it for me and this morning um which i don't oh i don't have my apple watch so i don't know what time it is um so this morning uh i know it's after the colors went off so eight o'clock in the morning i spray painted the um, the um lantern and now it's all black not silver I just need to get the candles for it because we forgot that and uh, we'll be good to go. Also, right now, I swear I saw some signs. Um, <laughs> so there was, you know, I'm a revert and this is the first Halloween I'm not celebrating. But there was this glass skull that I used to keep olive oil in. I got a brass um, olive oil pour now, and that's what, what it's in. Um, but I had washed it and I, w I had it outside to dry. And like, I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. You know, I just wanted to keep it, I guess, you know, just sentimental value, but uh, breeze i mean not even a breeze a wind came by and like knocked it down and it broke and then um my uh this other thing that i had from i think i showed you guys uh my salt and pepper shakers that i got at the expo they were like creepy cute or anything and i was moving them today and it just broke and I'm like, this is a sign, you know, like I got to get rid of these, I mean, these things that represent, I mean, it's not like it represents evil, but it's just, you know, I saw it that way and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, so... I'm just going around trying to see what else do I have that I, you know, didn't already donate and uh, do that. Um, uh, I, I'm not trying to convert my husband into a Muslim, but I am talking to him about what I read, uh, about what's going on. I have lectures when I'm watching lectures on YouTube. I'm so thankful that we have that. I have him playing out loud and he's there. So, you know, he hears it. <laughs> um, and hopefully 
inshallah he'll come around because right now it's kind of kind of lonely being the only one in the household that eats differently and uh, you know dresses differently and just the whole shebang you know what I mean but hold on sorry I'm like really thirsty um it's a uh, sparkling water and um we are participating in the boycotting uh, so the Coke products that we normally do buy, we aren't buying anymore. I know my son loves Taco Bell, but, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday while he was at work, I messaged him because he likes to get Taco Bell on the way back. It's the only thing that's open. And I messaged him and I'm like, you remember we're boycotting Taco Bell and he, you know, he's like, oh, okay. And he didn't get any. So I'm really proud of him. And so they themselves aren't Muslims. They are behind what's going on right now. Uh, so I'm excited. And I'm having a lady make uh, some shirts that say Free Palestine. And it has a Palestine flag on the back in the shape of a heart. And I'm going to wear that here, you know, or when I go out. I live on a military base, but I don't care. What are you going to do? You can't come up to me and do something. Or you're going to get kicked out. Uh, so I have, um, you know, people wear shirts with logos when some of them aren't so very friendly or nice or... Some of them put women down or things that should not be said and it just says it on there. So I am free to walk around with something that I stand behind. All right, so today, uh, what else am I doing? Yeah, I have a old, uh, it's a old Christmas, um, frame that had words and stuff and I just tried it. it it was paper behind it so I tried spray painting it and it wrinkled so I'm going to scrape that off as best as I can then spray paint it again in the ivory color because I ordered uh I thought because I have ordered before that it was going to be a canvas, like, you know, canvas material on a border of wood. And it was going to look pretty like the one I already have. But I just got sent the canvas <laughs> and I have nothing to put it on. But I'm like, I can reuse this because I was about to throw it away. And uh, I'm like, well, I can repurpose this. There's no reason to throw it away or go out and buy something when I can just do it myself. So I'm waiting for the paint to kind of dry on that because I don't want to get it all over my hands. And uh, then I'm going to go with the metal spackling spatula thing and scrape that off and give it a sanding and then paint it ivory. So then I can lay the um, picture in it because it doesn't quite fit around. So it would look more like a matting and uh, hopefully it'll come out okay. If not, it's like, yeah, that's my DIY, you know, it's whatever. But um, if it comes out okay, it'll go in the living room. If it comes out so-so, it's gonna go here. <laughs> Uh, I have the, the funky art is in this room. Well, except for that cow, the cow art that's on top of my TV, you know, like on top of it. And there's no way I'm moving that. I just love it there. It's, it's everything. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, so in my country, we, um, really like certain types of cows. I don't know. Uh, we uh, they breed. They specialize in breeding these ones that have like this hump, 
and uh, they're really big and muscular and they they tend to be like almost like a silvery white color they're very beautiful and I fell in love with them I love them they're beautiful they're not just beautiful beings but you know they sacrifice themselves so we can eat and I I just love them so anyways uh so the lego's gonna be later for tonight for when my husband gets home and we can do that the animal crossing is gonna be after i'm done with you guys and the um, uh what's it called the canvas is gonna happen after that you know and then i'm gonna go on my morning walk and everything oh and francis you guys have met francis hmm I think you have. Francis is my son's older dog. He is 14. And uh, I went to wake him up. So what I do, because my son does work nights and gets home late, I wake up the dog and bring him out so he can go to the bathroom and eat his food and water and everything. And then if he wants to go back in the room, I let him in. Well, I go to wake him up because I wake him up at eight o'clock as well. Uh, I go and I wake him up and he's just looking at me like, really? You're waking me up? I'm tired. <laughs> and, and I'm like, Francis. And I'm like, come on. And I'm like trying to bring him because he sleeps on the bed with my son and he's like right up against him. And he just looked at me, he yawned and he moved his head. And I'm like, all right, all right. I guess you're not feeling you need pee. You don't feel hungry. I'll let you be there for an hour and then I'll go back in because um, my son doesn't wake up till like 10, 10.30. So that's kind of, you know, my morning routine. And Names, my cat, she loves to be outside in the morning with us. Um, because that's where my husband and I have coffee. Although right now the mosquitoes are like crazy. Like I, I'm fully covered and they're biting through my clothes. You know, they're so tiny. You, you wouldn't think that the needle nose mouth thing would be able to go through the layers, but it does. And my husband, um, was watering the grass while I was uh, watching uh, or listening and watching a lecture. And he had, at one point he said he had six on one leg and two on the other. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, so we need a refill on the mosquito. We have a bug sapper, but on the bottom part, it has, um, it warms it up and it's a mosquito. It'll, it'll attract the mosquitoes to that area and then sap them, which I'm excited for. Uh, <laughs> so we got to get the refills on that. And it's looking like we're going to have to order it from Ace uh, because everywhere else is more expensive and, or they don't have it. Um, but I do have a portable wine because I used to drink my coffee out front because my husband um, would go to work earlier. Like he left here like an hour and a half earlier. So uh, I would drink it, I was by myself just drinking it. And sometimes I talked to my neighbor and everything. It was, you know, it was nice. Uh, but it's nicer now that I get to have a coffee with him out back, but we need, <laughs> we need some relief from those mosquitoes. <laughs> um, I know uh, I just kind of sit here and talk to you guys and things like that. Like I've said, 500 gazillion times I only go out on the weekends. <laughs> and that's like if there's nothing else going on, you know? And usually I'm okay with it. I'm fine. Um, it gives me something to look forward to. It lets me do my things so that way everything, the house has been taken care of uh for when the weekend comes i'm just fully available to go out and do something um depending on how it is 
let's see, this Saturday, uh, I want to go to the riverfront. Um, so that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. Because if I go to like a store or to the mall to walk around, which I like walking around the mall. I guess I'm old that way. <laughs> it's, it's, it's your air conditioning, air conditioning, mosquito free, no flies, no weird gas smells because we just we recently had a marsh fire. I believe I told you guys that it smelled like rubber was burning or oil or something like that. It was the marsh fires. Uh, here in Louisiana, we are known like known for our rain. We get so much rain all the time. Like from May to November is hurricane season. And all that time, we get a lot of rain. You know, we'll have three days without rain and then the rest with rain. And that hasn't happened. It's been a really dry season. And there have been fire warnings and everything. And that morning, I have never smelled a marsh be on fire. So it smelled like awful. And I'm thinking if it smells like burning oil or rubber, what are we letting into the marshes? You know, like, are we dumping things in there? What's going on? Um, I'm very ego conscious. Yeah. Anyways. Um... So we went and uh, I walked around the mall. Then I sat on those chairs that massage you and all that stuff. Um, my husband said he's gonna come and get a manicure with me <laughs> on Sunday, which is great because, you know, he's a working man. He works with his hands. Uh, he does electronics and everything. And he has those micro cuts that then um, get, will get, so if something has grease, we'll get on it. And no matter how much he scrubs, it won't come off and everything. And uh, he doesn't, when, when he does his nails, you know, he's a guy. He doesn't do his cuticles or anything. He just like, let me cut them as short as possible. So then I don't have to cut them for a while type of thing. <laughs> um, which is what my son does as well. <laughs> But I want to, I want to go with him and I think it'll be, it'll be a good time. We'll just sit next to each other and get it done. Um, what else? I don't know. I think that's kind of it for today. Uh, kind of it. I am missing my friends, uh, that have moved away. I'm missing them very much. I'm trying to, um, get into things. Like I'm trying to do the book club. Uh, apparently I, I missed, I missed it <laughs> for October. So they're looking for a book for November. So I'm going to keep my eye out. I'm going to, uh, actively search it out to see what the book is and start reading it. Um, so that way I can know it's, um, you know, it's just a little bit different because, uh, some people have a few drinks with, their meal while discussing the book or actually most of them do and uh, I don't drink I mean they're not bad people it's just something you know I as a Muslim don't do uh, so I just don't I don't know I feel I don't want to be the odd one out you know uh, well I wouldn't be the odd one out because I'd, I would read the book I'd be like, oh my God, what a chapter. Did you see what happened? Um, so I guess I'll be, you know, that'll be nice. We could do that or I could try to do that and um, see it that way. And I used to do Bunko, but it's, it's gambling, but it's not. Um, you pay a fee to get in and then you just roll dices and it, whoever gets the most or whatever says bunko or whatever. And at the end, you can win a prize money. So I don't know if that 
constitutes as gambling, that's something I'd have to ask someone. I really do because it's a, it's fun. It's a fun way to, you know, talk to other women and uh, a lot of them, well, all of them are like military spouses and everything. So I don't know. I got to see. I got to ask. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I see this video is already like 25 minutes. So <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the initial glare with the glasses. And if you like, please, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me get out there. Me and all my now 65. I had 66. Somebody unsubbed. I think it's because of the political stuff I've been talking about. But anyways, all right. I'll talk to you guys later and love you. Take care.